Chapter 12, Mishnah 2. The last Mishnah mentioned the rule that a Kohen who has no share in the meat of an Ola has no share in its hide either. The Mishnah now mentioned other rule, mentions other rules regarding when the Kohen does or does not get the hide. Whenever the Mizbeach has not acquired the meat even for a moment, i.e., where the Ola became invalid before its blood was thrown, the Kohanim do not acquire its hide, for it is stated there, verse 8, that the Kohen receives the hide of a man's Ola offering, which teaches that it must be an Ola that counts for a man. But an offering that became invalid before the blood was thrown does not count for the man, so the Kohanim do not get the hide. However, an Ola offering that was slaughtered not for its own sake, but for the sake of a different offering, even though it does not count for the owner for the fulfillment of his obligation, its hide goes to the Kohanim because the offering is in some sense a man's Ola in that he has brought a valid offering. Whether the Ola is that of a man or whether the, it is the Ola of a woman, their hides go to the Kohanim. The expression, a man's ola, does not mean to exclude the ola of a woman.